हे हाई एवरी वन दिस इज बक्का पचन चलिकर वेलकम बैक टू टेस्ट ऑटोमेशन टू सेलेनियम इन टू डेज वीडियो सेशन विल डिस्कस अबाउट एक्सेप्शन हैंडलिंग इन जावा प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज अजेंडा फॉर द डे इज वाटर एक्सेप्शंस डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ एक्सेप्शंस एंड विल बी सींग कंपाइल टाइम एक्सेप्शंस एंड रन टाइम एक्सेप्शंस एंड वाटर ट्राई ब्लॉक कैश ब्लॉक एंड फाइनली ब्लॉक एट लास्ट विल डिस्कस अबाउट थ्रो एंड थ्रोज की वर्ड First, I'll define what is exception. In Java, exception is an event that disrupts the normal flow of the program. The dictionary meaning of the exception is abnormal condition. The main purpose of using the exception handling in Java programming language is to handle the runtime errors so that the normal flow of the application can be maintained. There are two types of exceptions. The first one is checked exception. The second one is unchecked exception. The first one is checked exception. I'll define what is that. Checked exceptions are the exceptions that occurs at the compile time. You will see one simple program that represents the checked exception. Here I have defined one class called compile time. Under that I have defined two statements one is a file object i have created and the second statement file reader class that is created with the one object file class that takes the one file that is the location of the file the reader class that reads the file from the from particular location eclipse is having the java compiler that compiles during the coding itself here you got an one compilation error that you can see that is file not found exception because this mentioned file is are not a valid path that that is not exist in the system this kind of exception we call as compile time exceptions or checked exception the second type of exception is unchecked exception or runtime error runtime exceptions unchecked exceptions are the exceptions that occurs at the runtime here we have an good example program here in the main method i have defined one value for the result variable of integer type here in the result i have assigned a value of 10 divided by 0 you cannot define divide some number by 0 so it is not a valid thing so just execute this program it will throw you one error called arithmetic exception divided by 0 so this these kind of exception this divided by 0 error i'm getting during the run time by the jvm this kind of exception we call as unchecked exception for that java is having uh, exception exception handling mechanism by using the try block catch block and finally block we can handle the exception in java programming language first i'll discuss what is try block and catch block or uh, try is a keyword here followed by open brace and the close brace after that you have to define one catch statement so if any occur in the try block that will be handled in the catch block itself that takes the one argument called exception type that is arithmetic exceptions or number format exceptions there are so many types of exception exist in the java programming language here i'll define the reference variable for that this statement i'm going to define under the catch statement that is the result of the divided by 0 so here i'm defining the catch statement by using the reference variable i'm calling to one method called print struct is method this method returns me the description about the any 
exception that is catched by the this catch statement catch state uh, sorry catch statement is used to define the block of statements a number of statements you can define if any error occurred in the trial block that errors can be catched by the catch block trial block that contains a n number of statements for to be tested for any errors here i am writing one statement just i am printing one statement so that uh, i'll come to know i am running so i'll come to know catch statement is executed here so i am writing statement one called running under catch statement catch block i'll write execute this program you are able to see the error properly divided by 0 this information i got from calling calling this method called print stack trace method here i am executing this enter cache statement successfully the error exists in the line number 9 in the line number 9 it is throwing you the divided by 0 error so like this you can handle the exceptions uh, the next thing is you can declare n number of catch statements followed by try block so I am defining one more catch statement that is you can give the type of exception here if try block is throwing some arithmetic exception only arithmetic cache block will be executed at that time if it is throwing try block is throwing number format exception then only number format catch statement will be executed here so in this situation it is throwing only arithmetic exception so only arithmetic cache statement is executed here execute one more time yeah you are seeing the output running under the cache block that is it for the try and cache block the next block next block is finally finally is the one that that block contains set of code that executes irrespective of the results for the cache try block and the catch block whether uh, error is handled by the ca cache block 1 or cache block 2 or or else if try block has not executed or uh, not thrown any error also the finally block will be executed in java programming language this is syntax this is some printing one statement called running under final block this finally block it executes after try block catch block a number of catch block if you define a number of catch blocks after executing a number of catch blocks this finally block will be executed always irrespective of the results from the try block and catch block execute this program can you see the output here running under the final block that is it for these three blocks try block and the cache block and the final block the next keywords are throw keyword and the throws keyword first i'll explain you what is throw keyword the throw keyword is a keyword that is used to define the explicit exceptions here in the small i'll, I'll make a small modification to the same code here this I am commenting to the try block here by using the throw keyword I am 
explicitly declaring one exception called automatic type of exception so here i have not written any statement like int int or a, some automatic related operation so this keyword is used to throw an explicit type of exception this try block is throwing an one kind of arithmetic exception so that this catch catch statement should be executed execute this program now in the line number 10 it is showing an one error it is throwing an arithmetic exception here you are able to see the output here running under catch block one that is from the catch statement running under the catch block and the final block is executing under running under the final block same as it is that is it for the throw keyword for the throws keyword i'll define one more class here so that i can make a difference for the throw and throws keyword here i'm defining one method called test by using the throw keyword you can throw multiple number of exception by using the throw keyword you can throw only single exception that is different types of exception that exist in the java programming language here i'm defining arithmetic exception here by using the comma operator you can define n number of exception here under that i'll print one statement so that i can i'll come to know this sample class is executing running under sample class under this i'm defining i'm throwing one exception called arithmetic type of exception here so in the main method just i'll call to the i'll comment to this line in the try block just i'll call to the above method that is can be done by using the creating the object of the sample class reference variable i'm defining here followed by the new operator after that constructor by using the reference variable i'm calling to the test method here this method contains one arithmetic exception this throws keyword it tells the jvm like it is throwing firstly only it will tells the jvm it is throwing this method may test method may throw arithmetic exception or number format exception firstly only it will give the information to the jvm so execute this program can you see here the output here firstly it is printing uh, running under sample class first statement it, it is or uh, printing after that it is throwing one exception that is a arithmetic exception after calling this test method it is printing running under sample class after that it is throwing one exception that is arithmetic exception after that here it is a catch block that is handling for the this about try block so running under the catch block is executing here after that finally block is executing here that is it for the exception handling in java programming language i think i have covered almost all the topics for the today's session if you have any queries 
प्लीज ड्रॉप मी एन ईमेल टू बी ए के के ए पी पी ए सी एट दी रेट जी मेल डॉट कॉम और एल्स यू कैन सेंड आउट एन व्हाट्सअप मैसेज टू एट फोर थ्री वन टू फाइव थ्री डबल जीरो सेवन प्लीज क्लिक ऑन सब्सक्राइब एंड लाइक बटन इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग